everyone, your Galido family, and it's a beautiful sunny Thursday today. It's me again, TJ, and my wife, Miles, and Judah Gideon is with us, but Kuya Lucas is going to stay at home because we're going to Alamama Hospital for baby Gideon's first checkup today uh, after his discharge. So it's going to ha they're going to give him vac his vaccination today and some routine exams. And we are hopeful that uh, everything will go well today. Going to travel, going to the hospital right now. See you guys later. And we're back. Yes, we're back from Alamama Hospital from Judah Gideon's first uh, baby checkup and vaccination. Uh, we, are, we are just so thankful to God that Gideon is doing well, doing fine. All the all the test was fine. His audio test is is also uh, normal. And me and my wife, we, we cannot really exp express how how grateful we are that uh, Gideon is so much well. And for that, we want to do uh, we want to share our experience or our journey with you, the Gideon, and we want to share. A video about how to how to care for a baby who is premature or uh, preterm. I hope that this would help those families out there who has uh, had the same encounter with us. And we could just Im you could just imagine the anxiety that na we feel namin nung when Judah Gideon uh, was delivered preterm. Uh, for me personally. Uh, I was worried because of uh, the possibilities that uh, Gideon might uh, have this kind of uh, complications or something. Even Miles, I don't know how how exactly she felt, but I know as a mother, she was she was worried as well. But here 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 it is: the faithfulness of God, uh, Gideon, Judah Gideon is so much healthy and strong, normal and well. Maybe some of you right now, uh, you're going through something. Maybe you're anxious about uh, something, or you're worried about uh, things in your life right now. But let me encourage you with the verse. Actually, this is the, this is the exact verse that uh, God gave us when the time that uh, Miles had emergency CS. So uh, this was the time that I was waiting in the parking, and then suddenly I prayed to God because. As a family, we want we want everyone to be to be fine. So let me share with you this verse from Isaiah uh, chapter forty, verse thirty-one, where it says here, "But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint." says here God is reminding us that if we put our hope in him if we fully trust him he is enough and he is all that we need he is faithful so the question right now is where do you put your hope with or you where do you uh, put your trust with are you in faith in God at this time of your life let me pray for you let us pray for you. Lord, thank you, Lord, for this time. Thank you for reminding us, God, that whatever it is that we may go through in life, Father, thank you that you are there for us and you are enough. As you said, Lord, in your word, that those who will put their hope in you, if we put our trust in you, if we will be in faith in you, Father, you will renew our strength and you will remove all our anxieties and we will soar on high like eagles and we will not fail thank you father in jesus mighty name we pray amen thank you everyone uh, i hope that uh, you will continue to support and subscribe with us in our next videos thank you galido family